What's going on guys, this is Induced Rai here, back for another commentary in Forza Motorsport 6. So yes, here is another car review and test drive in this game. So if you're new to this series, basically what we do is we check out our car, take a look at it in Forza Vista where we basically, where we basically like talk about the car, take a look around it, start it up and all that, then we take it on the track. First we take it on the drag strip to test its speed, acceleration and braking, then we take it on a circuit to test its handling and the way it drives. And here we are, the first part we had the 2015 Tesla Model S, last part we had the 2016 Ford Shelby GC350R, here we have the 1997 Volvo 850R. So yes, I'm not a huge fan of old Volvos, but this is probably one of the only old Volvos I like. I like the old Volvo wagons, but I don't really like the old Volvo sedans. And this is probably the cheapest Volvo car I'm going to be doing in this series. So let's take a look at the specs. We've got a speed of 5.8, so that's not bad for a big, for a big, most likely heavy, cheap wagon. But we do have a, we do have a um, handling of 4.0, so not the best handling. But it's decent. It gets it's. I guess it's decent for the speed because it doesn't have the best speed either. But all right, speed still. And we got a we got a we got an acceleration of six point four. So again, pretty good. Okay, so we got two hundred and forty horsepower. So that's a decent amount, I guess, for a car like this, nineteen nineties. Yeah, got two hundred and twenty one pound forward torque. So again, about the same amount of power and torque. We've got 3,230 pounds, so it's quite heavy, but it's actually a lot lighter than the Tesla more or less we did. And 60% of that weight is on the front. So let's hop into it. So here it is. So, so yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the look at the front. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, the headlights, they're pretty nice, simple headlights. I've seen better headlights, but... They're decent enough, bright enough. Well, I've seen brighter headlights and better headlights, but they're decent enough for a car like this. I'm not a real huge fan of that Ray Air grille because it's smaller than new Volvos, and the Volvo badge is a lot smaller. But at least it goes up with the bonnet. Okay, so here's the engine, which is a 2.3 litre, I believe. Yeah, either a 2.3 litre or 2.2 litre four-cylinder engine. So it looks nice, just like a regular car engine. So moving on to the side, we've got that. Of course, we've got the unique, we got that unique wagon look at the side, four-door wagon look. So you still get the four-door look just from a sedan, except it's a lot, it's longer and it's bigger and looks better on the side. Yeah, you got nice, simple, pretty thin rearview mirrors. It's really thin, but I guess they're good. So moving on to the back, so... Uh, so yeah, I like the way... That's what I like about wagons, the tail lights. It, instead of those lights that go across, because on the sedan you get red light, red lights and the orange line in the middle. So let's open the hatch, so we've got lots of space there. Lots of space, just like an SUV, except... There are no seats in the back. Seats don't pop up, unfortunately, on the wagon. Alright, so let's open the back doors. So, yeah, it's a bit cramped. Not very spacious. It's not the most spacious vehicle in the world, but... But uh, I guess... No, let's just get back in and shut the door. Have a quick look around. So not very much. Just how hey, you get that little... That little compartment box with the air conditioning vents. Now let's move on to the interior. Yeah. So hopping into the cabin, we've actually got pretty down good cabin for the late nineties. So I like the bottom part. I like I like the color of the doors and the dash. Sort of color of that. Of the leather, I'm not sure uh, the grey leather, and I love the way the center console looks like. You get all that that wooden dashboard and the wooden center console, 
and you also get that grey leather on the steering on the steering wheel, and you get nice simple looking gauges, which are good. And I just I love this entire interior. I love it all, even for a 1990s car. I love this interior. Love the exterior, apart from the Ray Air grill at the front. Okay, so let's start up. Get a sound of that engine. Alright. So as you can see, there are three gauges on the left side, and one of them is the rev, obviously, and the other two are the must be the petrol and cooling gauge. And yeah, I just love this interior. I love the the grey leather clothing cloth and the wooden dashboard on the center console including the nice simple gear stick. Alright, so we're going to hop onto the track. First, we're going to go onto the drag strip to test its acceleration, braking, and speed. Then we're going to go onto the circuit to test its handling and the way it drives. Because we only started doing this on the last part. We didn't do it on the first one. Okay, so we're just heading on the track. We're just heading on the airfield. I'm not sure which airfield. Okay, so looking around, like I've said in the first and second part, it looks even better looking around it in the sunlight on the track than it does in the Forza Vista and yeah like I said I don't really like that Rayo grill because it's small it's just so rectangular I'm not sure about the shape of it and just the sunlight goes right into it right into through the bonnet but the back looks nice half of the back basically the white part the white part where the number plate thing is the 850R and Volvo badge is just like from the sedan. It's just the the tail lights. The tail lights go upwards and circle across, and you get the window just going straight up because this is a wagon. All right, so we got to 100 braking. So not very impressive, but pretty good for 3,230 30 pound car. All right, so. And 60, 0 to 60 is pretty good, so we're just going to drive the rest of the strip. So yeah, basically what we do is first we go from 0 to 60, then to 100, then we brake, and then we drive the remainder of the track to see how fast we can get before we reach the end. So 120, 123, 125 I think we just got. Because in the Shelby GT500 I believe we got... 146. So now let's leave the drag strip and go onto the track. Because this is new, like on the first part in the Tesla Model S, we didn't do the drag strip. Just went straight to the track, which was Prague. And then the second part, we did the drag strip, then we went to Monza. So which track are we going to pick? I don't know. Yeah, I'm actually going to pick Laguna Seca because just the desert surrounded by California really really kind of suits an all-wheel drive wagon, the desert, because this is sort of surrounded by a desert, not, not really, yeah, yeah, it is, because the sand on the outside, so let's just drive, we're going to do one lap, just basically see how it goes, how it handles, and also speed, because I guess both the circuit track and drag strip is for speed, so coming around the first corner, see how it does. Alright, so braking. Brakes at a good time on the racing hands. Gee. I was ex I was expecting quite a bit of understeer from this, like the Tesla Model S, but no. There's no way. This has no way as much understeer as the Tesla. Well, the Tesla was a lot heavier. And it was all wheel drive and electric. But the electric mode has nothing to do with understeer, I don't think. It was just like 4,800 pounds. This is 3,320, so it was about 1,500 pounds heavier than this. But I still was expecting a bit of understeer from this, but hang on. No, it's actually doing really good. See, this is why I like the old Volvo wagons, not really the old Volvo sedans. Well, the Volvo 850 sedan is okay, but the wagon is okay, but the bag wagon's a lot better. Yeah, the 850 sedan is the only old, the only old Volvo sedan I 
kind of, I wouldn't say I like, I'd say it's average. Yeah, but this is definitely my favourite old Volvo. I still like the new ones though. And I like the old wagons better than the new ones, I reckon. Because the new wagons, they sort of, I'm not sure, I just don't like the black at the back. Much prefer the Audi wagons, they're awesome. They're better than the sedans. Except for the RS7. The R I'm not sure if they made an RS7 wagon, but I know that I think the RS7 sedan would be better, because it's still a really good car. Alright, so let's just drive to... So what do I think about this car? Really good. Really good. Pretty fast. Pretty good handling for just a... For just a regular, old, cheap, cheap wagon. And what would I give this car a 10? I'd say 6 or 7. I'm not sure. But anyway, that pretty much wraps up the video. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry about that sort of... Sorry about that sort of background noise before. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you're enjoying this series, leave a like and maybe even subscribe. It's only going to get better. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.